Hello all, this is Sandeep. Today I am going to show you how to create custom summary statistics table in Power Query. So this was prompted by a question that a user asked on uh, Power BI subreddit forum a couple of weeks ago. And his question was, how to use table.profile that respects slicers and deals with strings. So what the user wants to do here is use table.profile. And if you have not used table.profile before, I'll explain that in a minute. Um, but what the user wants to do here is create summary statistics or descriptive statistics for, um, for number of columns that he has in his table and then be able to slice those statistics uh, by uh, a column or a number of columns. So an example of that would be um, if I show this over to you, this is the end result that we want to achieve. So I have a number of uh, different slicers over here. And then for each of these, uh, each of the columns that ha we have in the table, uh, the user wants to get uh, the statistics. So mean, count, max, outliers, and standard deviation, some. And then it could be anything that, that you want. Um, but be also able to select which statistic we want to show uh, in our table. Obviously, we can do this uh, easily in, in using DAX, um, but if your table is very wide, meaning if you have number of different columns, then you would have to, one option is to, you would have to create measures for each of those columns, or you would have to create uh, one measure that would be very long um, and then you would have to use, use the switch statement and um, use selected values, selected columns and uh, so it would be a very long uh, measure to use. Um, so if you're trying to just uh, get an idea about and create a data or rather a profile for a table that you have, um, then for first pass analysis, you might want to create something uh, that's really quick and that's where Power Query will uh, help us. So before I show you um, how I did this, let me just walk you through real quick uh, the table that I'm using. So this is just a, a table for Chicago Public School. I got it from their website. And for each of the schools, this is a network that particular school is in. And these are different matrix. It uh, doesn't matter what we have, but just a bunch of numbers that we have. And what we want to do is for each of these columns that we have, we want to get the descriptive statistics for, for that column, but be also able to obtain those statistics by, by using a filter or a slicer by a network column. It could be one column, it could be number of columns. For simplification, I'm just using one column over here. Uh, so let's go to Power Query. So in Power Query, I have uh, this loaded this table. Notice that I have some of the null, uh, null values uh, in some of the columns. And that's an important thing to note in um, when you're doing exploratory data anal analysis. Um, you know, one use case for using this approach is um, to get uh, data quality or identify what's the data quality um, in your table. So this would be a, a very handy uh, method to use in that case. So uh, as I said, let me first uh, show you what table.profile does. So what table.profile does, if I go over here, so what table.profile does, it returns profile of a column in a table. So if I turn on column profile and then click on any of the column, it gives us the column statistics. So what is the uh, what is the count, error, um, distinct values, and so on and so forth. Um, but, but this is for the column. We want it for all of these columns, and that's what we, we are after. One quick tip here is uh, when you do column profile, um, Power Query always gives returns the column profile for the first uh, top thousand rows. But if you click at the bottom, um, bottom right the bottom left over here then you will see at the bottom that you have uh, over here column profile based on top 1000 rows just select column profile ba based on the entire data set and you'll be able to um, get the, uh, the statistics for the entire data set that would of course take longer but uh, just a quick tip over here about that
Okay, so let's see what the uh, table.pro file does. So over here, I'm just gonna head over to uh, and then click on FX uh, right over here. And so let's click on that and then go to and then use table dot table dot profile and then just wrap this um, around that so table dot profile and then okay so there you go so for the uh, for each of the columns we have min max average standard deviation um, a couple of things to notice here is that this by default returns these six or seven uh, different statistics so mean average and there is a second optional argument that you can pass for custom functions or any of the other other um, aggregates that are available uh, in power query um, the, but that's optional and i'll show you how to pass that um, argument as well so uh, this doesn't help because this just aggregated all the columns um, but this that's not what we want we want to group all of this by the network column so which means that maybe we can use group by um, with table dot profile and let's see if that works so let me get rid of this and then we'll go to transform group by and group by we want to group by network and operation obviously table dot profile is not here but for now let's just select something and say let's call this new column as profile and then select we have to select one column but let's just select something one column over here and then go so what this did was now we have table dot group um, and we created this new column profile and this is list dot sum so we are summing that particular column um, but we can now replace this with just table dot profile let's see what that is table dot profile and then we underscore because we want to create it for each of the items um, rows in our file profile wasn't recognized oh that's because i have so that so so that worked so if i click on this row over here now we have for the chart network we do have we do get the statistics that we want um, but this is not expandable if i click on this table it will give me it will just expand one that one particular row and not all uh, the columns that we want so one way to get around that is if I go back here and let's just say I am going to I am going to use and then expand this by expand list column so expand list column and then hit enter and once I hit enter over here uh, expand this column oh I need to provide the name for the column so so that's good now if again if we go back we have what we want and then we can just expand it by the, um, the column that we want so this is good now we have the uh, the network and then we are able to obtain the column statistics for each of the columns um, and then keep our network column the same let's get rid of this network we don't want that row so let's get rid of that now notice again um, as i mentioned earlier that when you use table.profile you also have the ability to pass second um, uh, second argument as a nullable list so what nullable list is just a list of list and lash fiber um, he's one of the mvps and has an excellent blog on uh, power query and m and he has this um, blog on using that second parameter um, in table dot profile and i would really encourage you to read this so i followed the exact same thing what he did um, and if I go here now, if 
I go back here, what we are going to do is pass that second argument as a list. So we need a first list. This is for um, what we want to capture. This is a list. And then let's say we want to create the median. So we go median and then each type dot is and I'll explain in a minute uh, what we are trying to do here uh, but type and then no label number so that's our second argument in that and then what do we want to do so we want to get list dot median here for each of the rows let me zoom in here a little bit so <clears throat> So the arguments here is the first is this median. So what what do we want to call uh, that column? Second is which columns do we want to group over? Um, so here we are saying that we want a number. I'm calling it a nullable number because we have some null uh, values here. Um, if we just had if we just had um, if we did not have any null uh, values then we can just call type number. Um, if we were trying to get uh, create this profile for a column that is a string, um, then we would go type uh, text. And then the third is the function that we want to use. Uh, and here we're calling median. Now note that this doesn't have to be a uh, an existing um, function that's provided in M. It could be a, a custom function and I will show that uh, uh, in the next line that we want to go but let's just see if this works so we did that and if I click on it yeah, there you go you have a median column now that's added to that profile let's add one more so what I want to do here is I have written this custom function that calculates a number of outliers that you have so I'm accepting list my list as a list and then optional is the limit uh, as a number so I calculate the mean for the standard deviation um, and then I get all the outliers list of all the outliers and the way I'm defining the outliers here is any number that is more than the average plus the two standard deviation um, and th this would be any function this is just for demonstration purposes um, but and then then count the number of outliers we have based on the condition that we have specified so what we are going to do next is let's go back to the group rows here and try to add that as our second um, try to add that as our next uh, statistic so let's go we want to call that as outlier each type dot is underscore type put in the label number and then we want to go each if it's outlier which is the name of my uh, custom function we want to apply that on each row, so underscore. And my second argument was uh, the limit that we want to use, that is how many standard deviations uh, away from the mean we want to define it as an outlier. Um, I'm just going to call that as null for here because um, two is my, uh, by default it is two, uh, so null will accept it as two. So when we do that, so that ran successfully if I go back here again so we have the outlier so if I keep going through this um, you'll see we have some outliers here number two for NSGP map so that worked so let's go over here so now we have not now we have been able to create this so this is all good so now all we need to do is select these two transform and then just go and view what other columns and there you go now we have the uh, the network the column let's just call this as um, uh, 
well, uh, the metric that we are trying to get in this attribute is the statistics and then value is the value and then now all we have to do is go back and then create the report which is what I did um, in this case using that again um, there are many different ways to do that but I think this is the fastest way and in fact you can turn this into a function custom function and whenever you have a new table that you want to work on just pass this as custom function and then it will just create um, uh, the profiler for you uh, very easily so hope this helps um, if you um, like this please subscribe to my channel or you can also go to my blog at powerbi.com uh, which is right over here powerbi.com and then yes thank you for watching